Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini-podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. In the dead of the offseason, the Pittsburgh Steelers' young stars can't seem to stay out of the spotlight on social media. This time, it's not Juju Smith-Schuster or Chase Claypool doing or saying something on TikTok. Instead, it's Devin Bush's turn to again show that the Steelers have a social media issue. Bush has had a bizarre last week or so on Twitter, tweeting out anything and everything on his mind, causing some concern within the Steelers fan base, and even raising some red flags from teammate Zach Banner, who tweeted that the next time Bush was in Pittsburgh, he would be taking his phone. Bush caused quite the stir late last week, taking a shot at quote-unquote grown men who have TikTok on their phone, of which there are many on the current Steelers roster. Now, he just can't stay off of Twitter, tweeting strange things left and right in an almost Antonio Brown-like episode that came at the end of the former star receiver Steelers' career. We all remember that one well. There's certainly a possibility that the third-year linebacker's Twitter account was hacked. We simply can't rule that out in today's day and age. But at this point, the Steelers and their young stars continue to be talked about for all the wrong reasons. Personally, I don't have a problem with guys like Juju or Chase being on TikTok, and I don't have a problem with Bush being on Twitter but it's getting tiresome constantly talking about something a Steeler did or said on social media. At some point with this group, it needs to be more about football and less about brand building or speaking one's mind through social media. The 2021 Steelers are too talented and far too intriguing on the field to be talked about for the wrong reasons off the field. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com And check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure to check out The Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.